So the one way, the one strategy that you can use, starting off with this, is we can do an AI strategy. Now with an AI strategy, because we have two layers that are available to us, there's a bottom layer and a top layer, what I can do is I can start making four by four corners. With the AI strategy, you're basically reducing this to a fully functioning non-bandaged cube. So in this case, I can actually reduce this to a fully functioning non-bandaged two by two and solve it as a two by two. Same thing with this. This is three layers, so I can basically reduce this to a fully non-bandaged, fully functioning 3x3 three three and solve it as such, and onward and onward. So I can ignore that. The advantage of an AI solve is it eliminates any parities that you might have. It's a parity-free solve, basically, because you're reducing it to its baseline puzzle of the baseline parity that it is. In this case, it's an even layer parity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show that method but I'm going to tell you that that's not the method that I would use for all of these. So we're going to begin with that, but I'm going to ask that question again. Among these puzzles, which one do you think is the most difficult to solve? So let's start off with this. So with an AI strategy, I'm basically reducing this to a two by two. All of these pieces I'm looking at as corners, as specialized corners. So I'm going to reduce all the corners and solve it as a two by two. The first thing to do is I have to free up a top layer. And while this is here bandaging it, it can't. So if I position this enough, I will eventually find a way to move this top layer here. So one, two, three. I now have something of a third layer here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble a corner and put it down in the lower layer. So here's a red and um, white. Here's a red and white edge. It's not the right one. You can see it doesn't line up. So I need another red and white edge. All right, so let's find the other red and white, which is over here. So I'm going to take this here, move this up here by doing R-I-D-I-R-D. -I -I and I'm going to keep doing this until it comes into position just like this. I move this in and bang, I have this here. I'm going to take this, move it top side. Now the good thing about a four layer solve, it is among the faster of the solves. It'd be, it's not into the cumbersome state, so it's over here. Now what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the white and green with the other green on the other side. So here's, uh, well, let's see, white and green. It's probably down here, it's right over here. Is this the correct one? Well, I'm gonna find out, R-I-D-I-R-D. And we see, well, it is the right one. It's just bandaged across here. So what I want to do is before I move this into here is I want to put the white one into here and that'll solve this entire block. So I'm going to move this into position like so. Move this into a white center, if I can find one. And right over here. Now I'm going to take this and move it to the lower portion of the top layer here. Keep going down until I do it. You see that here, move it in, bang. So this is my one by two by two block. I'm gonna take this, move it down here. What this is, is this is an entire corner that's been put in. This is still freely movable, so why don't we take this red and white and find a red and white here. Now this is already assembled, so I'm just gonna use this one. I'm gonna move this top side over here. Now I want to match this up with the orange and white. Here's a couple orange and whites. I want to match these up with a white center. Okay, there's this. Now is this the correct one? Well, we can calculate it or examine it. This orange is going to be over here, just like this, which means this is the correct one. R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I, RD, move it in, and just like that, we have our second block for our four by four, or our second two by two corner block, rather. So now I'm gonna take this and move it down next to this. So this goes pretty fast, as you can see. All right, now let's move this blue and white one into a blue and white edge. Is it here? It's here. Take this, move it top side, R-I-D-I-R-D. D -I -R -D. Now I'm curious how fast this is going to take me to do because the alternative might be faster. Anyway, this is here, so now I'm looking for the red and white. 
Red and white is over here. Is it the right one? It is. But I want to pair this with a white center. So we're going to R-I-D-I-R-D -I -I -D this until it's up. It is up over here, but it's bandaged against this. So we've got to move this one out of the way. D-I-R-D. So what I need to do is move this away from here. Because ultimately you have to move it across here. And uh, this is fine because it can move across here. So R-D-I-R-D. Alright, D-I-R-D. See, so this can move. Find a white one. Well, it could be this, so I'm gonna move this over here, and I'm gonna move these white ones down. There's two to choose from. So one of these has to fit, and it's this one. Move this to the center, R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I-R-D. Move this in and bang, just like that, I now have my third corner. Take this, move it down. I've got one more for the lower layer. This is in, this is in, this is in. Now let's take this up and move this to the top so I can fit it in somewhere. D I R D. Okay, so I'm looking for a white and orange, which is right here. So I'm going to move this down, finally get this one out of the way, put this to some use. And splat. This is here. Move this top side. R I D I R D. R I D I R D. Green and white. This white's going to be useful. The green is probably down here somewhere and it's right here. So let's move this up. R I D I R D. I'm going to keep turning it around until I can move it in this configuration. It's got to match with this white. I'm going to take this, move it down here. Now you're probably thinking this is all fine and well, but what about that last layers of a horrible AI solve? Move this into here, and we're good. And just like that, without any effort at all, bang, we've got our fourth one. So now I'm just going to move this down. Okay. Now this looks like any other AI cube now. You're going to find that with a classic AI puzzle, uh, you're going to see these layers exactly the same. It's not bandaged or anything like that. But here's the good news. You don't have to worry about doing a full AI solve, especially with that last layer. We take a look at this. Let's go ahead and find a green and orange, which is right here. Let's see if it's the right one. All right, D-I-R-D. All right, D-I-R-D. Move it in. This is good. I'm going to take this one by two by two block and move it up. Bang, there it is. Okay, what I'm gonna look for is the, for the yellow and green, which is here. Is it the right one? And it is. So what I'm gonna do is move this top side. This yellow is already in place. Gotta put a green one here. So position it so that the green one is facing um, the lower part of the upper layer. There it is here. Now find a green center that it likes. It likes both both of these, but it just can't. This has to come over to here. R I D I R D R I D I R D, and we just keep going. Move it in. This is all fine. Move this to the center. Again, I'm curious to see how fast I'm able to do this and bang. Just like that, our first block is done. To which you're saying, yeah, I've done AI solves. That's not the hard part. That might be coming, but it actually isn't. So we've got these two, this corner and edge piece in. Let's move this up. All right, D-I-R-D. Look for the blue and orange, which is, well, this one's up too. So if I find it, I can actually look for the red and blue, which is here. Um, both of, the, of these need to have the blue on the bottom. So I can't go wrong with just rearranging it. Okay, I want to find a blue center. This one can't line up with it, but this one might. All right, D-I-R-D. Okay, take this, move the center here, and we're good. Put this in the middle. 
Okay, just had to check something. R I D I R D, R I D I R D, and keep going with that. In the meantime, I don't want to take out what I did over here. So move this into here. I've got my one by two by two bar. R I D I R D, R I D I R D, and keep going. And move this back in. Okay, good. So here, this is over here. Now I'm looking for the red and orange, which is right here. Now this whole thing is in, so that's a little gift. All right, D I R D, keep going. Now the fact that I had all this bandage, it does take out some of the noise there. Move this in and that's fine. To coordinate this with this, what you do is you move it in, then you move it once more, and now you do a corner swap to bring these all back to our U, to our UI, to our, turn the puzzle, to our UI, to our U, to our, move it again, this is in and this is in. Now the dreaded last two layers, but here's the kicker with this puzzle, you don't have to worry about that. All you have to do is put all the edges with all the corners and you don't have to worry about the centers. So taking a look at this, this can come into here. I just have to flip this around. R I D I R D. R I D I R D. Move this into here so this lines up. Now, just for the fun of it, I could do a full AI solve, but I'm not. So I'm going to move this back. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm still matching up corners. I'm going to move this down. Well, actually, it might be better if I move this. R I D I R D R I D I R D. I can move this into place. Oop. Well, actually, that looks pretty good. I like the fact that this is lined up. There's a little bit of intuition involved with this part. And move this in over here. Okay, I like the fact that this is lined up here. R D R I D I R D R D. Okay, red and blue. Now I can move this into place. This is all in. R I D I R D R I D I R D. And I'll move it back. And just like that, this is all in, and now I've got this to go. Now, just for the fun of it, I could try to do a full AI solve, because I have one by one by two blocks here, and then I've got these, but I'm not gonna do that. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to match up these corners here. So what I'm gonna do is I need to turn this around so that it can come into this place over here. So I'm gonna move this like so, and I'm, I'm gonna R-A-D-R-D this until it can come into this area here. All right, D I R D. D I R D, R I D I R D. Now this corner can match with this edge perfectly like this. Now what I wanna do is move this up. All right, D I R D. So this needs to come into here, and this needs to come into here. I have a way of doing that without messing up these guys. Over here, move it in, move it once more, do a corner swap to our U, to our UI, to our turn, to our UI, to our U, to our turn back. So now you can see that all of my corners are lined up with edges, and I just have these guys out. Now, if this were an AI solve, I'd have to do some fancy footwork to put these in, but I don't have to now. I've now done as much of a 2x2 two two reduction as I need to, so now I'm going to solve this as a 2x2. Two two. I'll put this layer in here first. So I'm just going to do a standard 2x2 two two solve. Got this one in here. Line up my other two layer portion. And again, this is just standard 2x2 two two solve, which is at the end of any AI solve or any parity free reduction. Now these guys, Yellow has to go on top. R I D I R D, R I D I R D. Move this here. 
This is just the last layer. D-I-R-D. -D. Okay. Almost there. We're going to call this all red. Do a corner swap with these two. 2R U, 2R UI, 2R. Turn. 2R UI, 2R U, 2R. And the 2x2 two two solve is done. What about these guys? Well, this I'm going to put in with what I call my swinging U technique. For this to come into here, turn it here, move it in the R position, into place, swing the U to the L position, move it down from the L, swing it back to the R, move it up, swing it here, move it up over here. Notice I didn't say R, I, L, I. We're moving beyond algorithms at this point. Swinging U technique, swing it on the left with an L, in this case it would just be an L, swing the U to the R position from this layer, so that's going to be U, then an RI, swing the U back to the L for an LI, swing the U back to the R for an R, and done. Okay, so that's how to solve it by a reductive technique, and you can solve any floppy I cube by reduction that way. But here's the thing, although it works, and it was a pretty simple kind of a somewhat intuitive solve. This would have to be reduced to a 3x3, and I've shown how to do that with an alternative 5x5 five five to 3x3 three three reduction. This would have to be reduced to a 4x4, four four, and then in turn reduced to a 3x3, three three, uh, then in turn reduced to a 2x2, two two. so you're going to have to reduce a lot more, do a lot more reduction, and it takes a lot more time. This beast would also be reduced to a 3x3, three uh, as a 5x5. Five five. So it's like you're doing a 5x5 five five reduction to a 3x3, three three, which would take a lot of time putting everything in. So the technique that I used with this, the strategy that I used, is not really going to be the most efficient strategy with all of these. In other words, I'm going to have to use different strategies to do a more efficient solve so that doesn't become too cumbersome. And that is going to be a strategy that I'm going to use with this. So I'm going to scramble this guy up once more. Okay, so here we are, back at the beginning again. And what I'm going to do is, is, although that is a keystone that you can do if you run into any jam with any type of a bandage and you just don't like to deal with any parity, what I'm going to show is the actual solve method that will work with any one of these eye cubes. Well, almost any one of these eye cubes. And I'm going to leave you in this part with the same question that I asked at the beginning. Which one of these, with the strategies that I'm going to use, do you think is the hardest and most difficult so let me know what you think, and then we're going to go through and see what is the best strategy to solve uh, these particular floppy eye cubes. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.